continuing with our kitchen, we're now going to have a look at putting worktops on the units with a sink and a hob. So let's go back to our ground floor plan and we will again go component load family. We want to go to the casework file and countertops and then we'll have a look through. I'll look for one with a hole for the sink like that one and load that in and then go across to it. So casework, countertop, there we go. Drop that into place. Then I want a corner, uh, two corners. So let's go again, component, load, So just plain corner like that, click open, space bar it to go here. And then space bar again to rotate and to zoom in and get it on the corner. Okay. Next, we don't want large overlapping sections. So when we click on one of the countertops, you'll see the arrows by here. And you can literally just grab and drag these arrows like so. And now we can see the edge of the counter underneath. So we can just drag it back to line up with that counter. And then on this one here, we can see the edge of it is currently over there and over here. So we'll drag this one over here to just cover the dishwasher. And then this one, we'll just do it until it locks. There we go. We can see it locking onto the side of a unit as that appears. And we'll click back on this one and just make sure that just marries up. Okay, so let's have a little look at that in our 3D view. So we can see here now we have got our worktops. Now maybe we don't want the actual joint where it is at the moment. I would probably say we don't want it by there. So what I'm going to do is just go back to the ground floor plan and drag it up to this one here. And that will look somewhat neater. Yeah, it looks a bit better. OK, now let's have a look at our sink. Now we can see the hole for the sink is currently in the wrong place. So we first of all need to try and move it over these pair of units here. Now again, we see these little pairs of arrows so we can grab the sink edge and drop it over here. So a little bit of guesswork to start with. Now we want to put a sink into that opening. Now we're going to go back to component, load family, out of the casework file and into the plumbing file. architectural fixtures sinks and we'll see there's quite a large range of sinks i'm going to go for this one here that's got the larger sink a small sink and a draining board now i'm going to put that centered over over here and we'll have to have a little look at that in our 3d view see how it fits. Now we can see that the sink tiny bit to the right but the count the hole then needs to actually go quite a bit across. But having the sink there will actually help us 
with that. Now we can see a dimension as we do this, so I might just try changing that to 1420 or 1410 maybe. There we go, that looks better. And then I can go click on that and we can see that that now needs, we can see the edge of the sink now much more clearly. So that will make it easier. And we also need to just adjust it a little bit this direction as well. Okay, so now as we look back at it in our 3D view, we can see now we got a clear sink bowl sat in there with no elements of the worktops cutting through the sink. So let's now have a look for a hob. Go back to the ground floor component. It's not going to be in the plumbing file. So this will be in the speciality equipment and domestic. And we should be able to find. So we've got a two hob there. Let's have a little look, see if we can see a four ring. There we go. A four ring electric hob or a gas hob. Let's have a gas hob. Okay, so space bar, space bar to rotate, drop it over the oven. Now, we may have noticed that it's not there. So where is it gone? Well, as we can see, it was actually on the floor. So if we just click on it now, we can see the elevation by there needs to be about 900. So let's do that and see how that looks. And that looks pretty good at 900. And we've got it pretty much spot on in the right place. So there is our hob. So we have just added our countertops, our sink, editing the hole for the sink, and placed a hob.